watching another one of my tutorials. Uh, today it's going to be the 50s inspired ponytail and to start off with I'm just going to section off my fringe area which we're going to do the victory roll in before we actually put in the clip on ponytail. So I've basically sectioned off my hair from the peak of my eyebrow to the other eyebrow and I'm just going to pin this out of the way so it doesn't get involved when we do our ponytail. So I'm just putting up a pretty basic ponytail, you can do a low one or a high one, depends what kind of look you want to do, um, but just keep it nice and smooth and what I like to do is use hairspray in between and layer up that coverage so that we take care of all of those flyaways. To do this I'm using my Denman Grooman brush and I'm using Sexy Hair Get Layered Hairspray. To give that ponytail a bit of extra oomph and um, fullness, I'm going to use a hair donut. And I'm actually only pulling through half of my ponytail through this. I just find it helps keep everything a little bit more neater and in place rather than having the ends of your hair coming out. I'm just pinning that in place. This ponytail is the Sleek Easy Ponytail. It's human hair so I can dye it to match my own colour. As you can see it's got two little prongs on the top and underside of it and you can also draw string it so it goes a bit more round so it's easier to fit over your hair donut. So as you can see I'm just clipping in that top prong just behind my hair donut and underneath as well. And then to keep it really secure I'm going to use two bobby pins either side and I'm just fixing the underneath of the weft of the ponytail to my own hair so it really stays in place and I'm going to do the same at the back as well. To cover up those clips and the actual part where the hairpiece joins onto your head I'm going to pop a chiffon headscarf around the base of it. So as you can see I just start at the front pop it all the way behind underneath that ponytail and then tie it in a knot over the top. To do bows in my headscarf I like to use the uh, bunny ears approach so I make two loops and then actually knot those together Then, as you can see I just bring the end parts just underneath so that they sit nicely and you can also fan out that bow as well as big as you'd like. <laughs> Once the hair piece is clipped in place and nice and secure, I'm just going to go through it and just give it a bit of a recurl. Um, I'm doing a really basic set and just curling through each of the bits of hair just so we've got a nice even curl. Now that the hair's all curled again, I'm going to brush through with my Denman grooming brush and just shape those curls to how I want them to sit. So now I'm going to move on to the victory roll part of this hairdo. I prefer to do the front of the hair um, once I've actually got my ponytail clipped in so then you avoid knocking your perfect victory roll by trying to clip in a ponytail and adding the bow. So I'm just going to start uh, back combing through this whole section of hair. I'm using a rat tail comb and I'm layering up my sexy hair get layered hairspray. And then whilst I'm backcombing, I'm also bringing those sections together so that we get a really full, solid backcomb, which makes things a lot easier to mould and shape once we go to do our victory roll. For the last section of hair at the front, I'm only going to backcomb on the inside rather than on the front of that section, so that then you get a nice smooth area to work with rather than anything that looks too backcombed. It just makes your job a lot easier. So once you spend a bit of time smoothing through that whole section of hair and taking care of those flyaways, we're going to do our victory roll. So as you can see, I'm rolling around my two fingers and then I'm just feeding the hair off to the other hand and actually placing that against my head and shaping before I clip in. I'm just going to show that one more time so you can get a good view of the technique I use for this in particular victory roll. Now I'm going to go in with my hair grip and I'm just going to pop that where the roll first curves into my actual head and if you pop that just directly underneath the first couple of layers that are visible you can hide that hair clip a lot better but it will still be nice and secure. And obviously you can use as many hair grips as you want but if you actually tuck them under that section of hair they'll just be hidden and look a lot neater. 
I'm also going to clip in just at the back of that hairdo just to have that nice gradiated um, victory roll which just again looks a lot nicer from a 360 kind of view. And then spend a little bit of time smoothing with my fingertips and my hairspray just to get a really really nice smooth gorgeous looking victory roll. So here's the finished look, uh, really simple to do, really quick, all you need is a little clip on hair piece, you can use human hair ones or synthetic ones, they all look really cute and it's just a great hairdo for everyday pin up kind of look. Thank you for watching uh, if you like this video please hit that subscribe button on my channel you can also find me on Instagram and Facebook thank you